bang welcome back to another episode of Irwin Adventures I hope everybody is having a great day as I am today nice couple pounder let me let this guy go and we'll hop back into what we're doing today hope you guys enjoy There she goes. Bang. Alrighty, so like I said, welcome back to another episode of Irwin Adventures. I hope all you guys are having a great day. So in today's video, we're doing it something a little bit different. We aren't actually fishing like we normally do. Uh, today, we're gonna be discussing this combo right here. But just so you guys do know, before we hop into this video, that last fish I caught was actually on the X-Zone Lures. Uh, that's the company. It was on a Ned Zone. That's what it is. It's a little Ned rig. I will leave their Instagram and their website linked in the description below for you guys to check out if you would like to. Set up here. It's the Mac 2. You got the speed spool, which is the reel, obviously, and the speed stick, which is the rod. I'm going to talk about how I how I found it, um, why I bought it, how I like it, if I think it's worth it, and whatnot, and we will go from there. Um, but just to start with, I just want to start with how how I actually found it, right? Um, so I bought this about six months ago. I was looking for a new new rod and reel. I had just started my Instagram and my YouTube, and I wanted something for content, something that would pop out in pictures and whatnot. And that's uh, what first attracted me to this rod, right? The green, it pops out, it's easy to see. Um, it gets people's attention, which is really helpful if you're trying to make you know, Instagram picture. If you guys are interested in checking out my Instagram, uh, I'll leave it linked in the description, as well as the X Zone lures, as well as everything used in this video from the rod, the reel, to the cameras, to everything. So make sure you check it out if you're curious about any of it. Um, I will make sure I look and try to find the, the, the cheapest combo I can find to leave link to you guys. Um, so I was I was shopping for a rod, right? And I was looking for something for, for content, essentially. And I looked into, you know, favorite rods of course everybody's heard of favorite and they have some super sick designs and and super essentially perfect for what i was looking for but unfortunately they're very expensive for like one rod you can get what this combo costs just for the rod there so just to get into the specs of this combo really quick all right just to start with the rod is actually carbon fiber i believe it says it on here carbon carbon nanotube technology so it's a, it's a carbon rod this reel has 10 bearings in it okay it has a bowed handle and wind dry uh, knobs on it. it has a 751 gear ratio on it as you can see right there um which is about average i would say it's pretty fast it picks up about this reel i believe picks up about 30 inches per rotation of the handle which is fast but again uh, that's not a bad thing i uh, it's what i was looking for i was looking for something a little bit faster so this reel compared to the fls which is another handle made by loose has actually the exact same specs so the same gear ratio same amount of bearing same same everything about it except for the handles different i believe this one is bowed as you see um and it has these wind dry handles now the fls i think costs about 100 bucks and this costs 140 so it's about 40 extra dollars just for the handle um that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping i mean what do you want as a fisherman right Moving further into this, this reel though, I have had no problems with this reel at all. It's super smooth as you can see, it spins uh, pretty pretty easy. Um, I guess there's two things about it that I, I wouldn't say are problems, but happened. Um, the first thing is right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There's like a little circle piece right here. There used to be a Lose a logo that's stuck in there, almost like a sticker, um, but it fell off like the second day I got it, but it fell off. I don't really care. It doesn't affect how the reel works and that's all I really care about. And then also, another time, when I first got this reel, I put like 30 pound braid on it and I could cast it so far, which I guess that never stopped. I, this rod casts really well, rod and reel combo casts really well. But when I first got it, I put like 30 pound braid on it because that's all I had. And I, when I'd reel it in, it would have a lot of this, you know, keep spinning, keep spinning. It was very, very smooth. And then I took that off after about a week and I put 20, 
22, I want to say 22 pound floor of carbon on it, which is a lot thicker line, a lot heavier. And it would not rotate like this. It would kind of just stop when I would stop it like that, let's say. And um, I thought so my, my reel was messing up or breaking or something, but that wasn't the case. It was just way too heavy of line for the reel, which is fine. As for the rod, like I was saying, it is a carbon rod. So it's very sensitive. Now it's a little bit easier to break than like, let's say fiberglass, because they, they snap not as much, bend as much, but they are really sensitive. You can feel absolutely everything, especially if you put braid on it, obviously, you can feel a lot more with it. Um, it's definitely a super, super nice rod. Now as for the combo as a whole, I would buy this combo if I'm looking for certain things, okay? So I wouldn't buy this combo if I was looking to go, you know, flip flip heavy cover or throw frogs around just because it's a little bit lighter rod. Now I did get the, the medium heavy fast taper, which obviously is lighter than a heavy rod. But the thing is, it's definitely a lot lighter than I, I guess me, most medium heavies, um, which is fine. It's, it's perfect for other things, right? But I wouldn't get this if I was going to go be pulling fish through a bunch of weeds and whatnot. The rod would bow, probably break. Um, it's, it's just not what I would do with this rod. I would look for something else. Now, if you're new into fishing and you're just getting into bait cash, I think there's a great setup for you. It's a little expensive. I forget how much the whole setup is. I want to say $230. Um, I actually got on Dick's for super good deals, like $140 I picked this up for. Again, it is a little expensive, but I definitely would check it out if you're looking into new rods. A little bit more versatile rod. I do use it for everything. You'll see me flipping this, throwing frogs on this, whatever. Just because a lot of where I fish are man-made ponds, like this spot behind me here. And there's not a lot of natural cover, such as weeds. So all in all, I think this is definitely a great combo. I'm definitely looking to buy another one of loose stuff. I really like loose. Um, so far, this is my first loose setup. And I, I definitely like it a lot. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate the view. If you want to check out that combo, I will leave it linked in the description below so you can check that out. If you want to check out my camera, anything else, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Thank you to Exxon Lures. You should definitely check them out on those Ned rigs and they also have cross and stuff and all their baits actually float or most of them I think. They actually float which is super awesome and if you know a little bit about finesse fishing you want something that floats. Um, but yeah definitely go check them out. Make sure to leave a, a like, a comment and make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.